Someone wrote in and said, All my my entire sex life, I've struggled with a guy being able to make me orgasm. Mm-hmm. I love sex and it bothers me that I can't get a guy to make me orgasm. Do you have any suggestions for me? This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. Kathy Vartuli from intimacydojo.com. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, there's so many different ways to answer this. Uh, first, have you been orgasming on your own? It sounds like it from what the way it's. Well, I mean, we, we, there's the assumption that that's what the case is. Yeah. Um, uh, has a woman been able to get you to orgasm? That's a good just, question. I mean, again, if you're, if you're, because we don't know, like yeah. maybe you're queer or bisexual or whatever, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh my God, like super easy for women to get me off. Haven't been able to get a guy to get me off. Mm-hmm. Um, my big questions real quickly are always checking in. Can you get yourself off? Mm-hmm. Um, have you changed your diet or your medication or has something, you know, uh, physically or emotionally or, or, you know, psychically, spiritually, whatever, has something shifted for you recently? Uh, it sounds like this isn't a guys could get me off and now they can't. So, but again, like, like checking in cause I've had friends and lovers who changed medication and then all of a sudden everything became different Mm -hmm. um so it's useful to just kind of check in and take a look because if no one ever told you to take a look you might be blaming yourself and there's something Mm -hmm. something shifted um and this also you know goes for for everybody to do this kind of protocol for yourself Mm -hmm. um one of the things i recommend for my clients i've had some clients with these issues is i encourage them one to talk to their partner some of them have been faking it for a long time because they didn't want their partner to feel bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I made sure they like to talk. We talked about it. They practiced with me, like asking for what they really wanted. And one of the things I recommended was if they they really couldn't or got like they they were they t- said, hey, this is working, this isn't working, and it still didn't get them off. I went back to how they they get themselves off and started incorporating their partner. So. They, they most of them had a space where they could have orgasm mm-hmm. um, and they would invite their partner in to that space and hold them while they masturbated for mm-hmm. instance and then they could gradually incorporate more and more touch when the partner is learning how to how that person likes to get off but two the the person who is was struggling with the orgasm gets a chance to start feeling comfortable with another person there while they're coming and it could be that they have a belief or there's a thought that if I orgasm with them, I'll have too much control or I might lose control or usually there's a belief behind it. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you can figure that out and dismantle it, great. But often if they're just having their partner hold them while they masturbate or something like that, there is a, an uncovering or discovery of what's going on and it start, the body starts getting more comfortable orgasming with that person and gradually they can you know, kind of expand the sexual aspect of it. Mm. Other things, um, you might want to consider getting a therapist, seeing a sex therapist, just to get, you know, somebody who can give you some feedback or some active listening rather than trying to get all your needs met from YouTube. <laughs> the other thing to just consider um, for having, you know, friends and, and worked with people who have particular trauma histories or life histories um, there may be other stuff going on where it's just going to be more difficult or challenging for you to orgasm with a partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that that is like, that's a thing like that can happen and how you empower yourself and look for resources, um, might be, uh, might require you to do work on yourself outside of your relationship yeah. because having your partner there holding you might not be the breakthrough Mm -hmm. um and i just want to like offer that uh so that you don't go into like there's no shame if i did the evolve the advice that kathy gave me and it's not working i must really be broken yeah no there's lots of different ways to and i mean i have friends and lovers who are like yeah so we can totally play just so you know i'm not gonna orgasm Mm -hmm. like i won't come i know that about myself don't make that mean anything because I, you know, they've said to me, they're like, I get some dudes are like fiercely <laughs> adherent to that I must get off. And they're like, I'm not going to get off. So let it go. Um, and, you know, I really appreciated hearing that from them. 
and being able to adjust how we were going to play and my expectations so that my expectations and and whatever tendency I have towards goal orientation, um, I was able to remove that from what we were doing so it wasn't creating this weird pressure for them. Mm -hmm. Cool. I hope that was helpful. Yeah. Great uh, question. Yeah. Thanks very much for sharing so vulnerably. Leave comments below. We'd love to know what you think. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t-shirt, please click right here, right now. Boop. N no, no, really, like... <laughs>